Hi guys, we are live uh, with me, uh, Betty, and um, today my guest, I'm honoured to have Karina Chu. Karina Chu is um, the regional um, manager for training and education for Bobby Brown. She's based in um, Singapore. And uh, how long have you been um, in this makeup industry, Karina? Hi guys, everyone. Uh, hi, good evening. I have been in the industry, I would say, 12 years plus. Uh, the plus basically came, uh, comes from a few years I was freelancing as a makeup artist doing bridal makeup for some friends oh. and then friends recommended friends. Yeah, so I'm like a self-taught uh, makeup artist um, following my own style that is very true to myself, my own style. And then subsequently the chance uh, came upon and uh, Bobby Brown being my favorite makeup brand for the longest time. And I, I, I call myself Bobby Brown girl because I can really <laughs> resonate the, the philosophy and the DNA of the brand that is really like being true to yourself, be who you are. And it's real makeup for real women. It's really all about women empowerment. So this Bobby Brown was started by a lady, right, from scratch. Yes, by Bobby Brown herself. She's the okay. she, she was the founder, but of course uh, she has decided to retire a few years ago. Yes. So and of course she sold the company to Estee Lauder Group many years ago. Uh, but she has always been in charge and control of the brand in terms of the direction, the production, uh, development, and the artistry, the training, everything. Um, so yeah. But in terms of um, the philosophy and the DNA, it has not changed. And of course, we evolve over the years in terms of our makeup style because everyone is like self-taught, uh, the YouTuber and makeup artist of, of their own. And so we have to evolve ourselves as well. But overall, our philosophy is still very much the same in the sense we promote a lot about girl empowerment, women empowerment. And it's really all about being yourself and loving yourself. And makeup is not here to like really change you, but it's to really improve and enhance your appearance and your features. And that will change how you feel. How does one get started in this industry, in this business? I mean, she started, how did she start? Because of her interest in makeup or was she a, it, does it take a chemist or does it take a, your interest in beauty in women? It's very, very interesting. Yeah, she she's a woman herself, right? And yeah. basically what happened is that everything all started with frustration. She was working oh. also as a freelance artist, yeah, in the fashion and the beauty industry. She was very frustrated because for the longest time, she couldn't find foundation or makeup that is naturally flattering on women. But instead, they are all very artificially like enhancing women's features. For example, the foundations uh, in the 80s, basically all the foundation are like pink base. As okay. you know, look at ourselves, we are like, we have so many yellow undertone. So she couldn't find any foundation that really match um, the model's complexion naturally and perfectly. And it was one incident that she was doing makeup for a model for a bathing suit shoot for a magazine. She literally had to paint the models from head to toe just to match the color. So that prompted her to come up with her own line. And of course, she started with uh, lipstick because she also felt that there was no lipstick color that really, that, that looked flattering on our own natural lips. And then subsequently, then she moved on to creating her very iconic foundation stick as well. And, so it's uh, all my frustration. There's nothing that was available in the market for her to use. Wow, a multi-billion dollar business started from just frustration. A lot yes. of us should succeed in businesses then. I, I, think, I think in a sense that it's a good thing to get angry then, I guess. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm really frustrated. <laughs> I'm going to make it in life. That's yeah, yeah. The, yeah, I think that should be the motto in our women's life. Yeah, it, it creates that drive in you. And then I think that drive subsequently becomes a push and energy for you to actually search for an answer. So oh. they actually like you solve your problem, you come up with a solution, and then so you that, actually revolutionize the industry. So this Bobby Brown has now a whole range of um, foundation for all skin type, skin yes. type, from yes. yellow skin tone of the Chinese to 
um, dark skin tone of um, the Africans and um, yes, we we believe that actually ninety percent of you know and above of the women actually have this yellow undertone, regardless your ethnicity, your race, your nationality, even for let's say for example for Indians. And you might think that they are all like warm skin tone, but if you examine or look closely, they have a different skin under, uh, undertone. Some of them a little bit more olives, and some of them a little bit more brown and red, and some oh, of them yes. more. Yeah. So same thing. Like look at you and me on the screen right now. You know. Okay. You know, I'm bare faced. Like, um, yeah, I'm completely yeah. bare. We are both Chinese. I'm bare faced as well. Both Chinese. Okay. But look at how how Milo color I am. I call yes, myself yes. Milo, right? And I'm and really like. like uh, uh, yes, uh, even with comparing my sister and I, my sister is very pinkish mm. and I'm a bit yellowish. Hi, Nicholas. Nicholas, say, is there a makeup line for men? Well, there is no makeup line for men specifically, but some of the products at Bobbi Brown, um, men can use it too. For example, skincare. Skincare, everyone needs it, regardless your gender, your age. You need have, you need to use it in um, in order to slow down aging. We all know we can't stop aging, but we definitely can slow down the process and age gracefully. And in terms of makeup, actually, if you're open for it, these days, a lot of men actually use makeup such as concealer. Oh. Concealer is very good for dark circle. Dark circle doesn't discriminate. If you like a lack of sleep, whether you are guys or women, you get dark circle. And men also use foundation because some of them probably have some acne or some I don't know, something they want to cover or conceal. So you can use a little bit of foundation. My personal favorite is foundation stick that is really universal, it's portable. And we basically design this for like on the go kind of um, very convenient product. So you can just use your fingertips if you don't have a brush and just dab on where you want to conceal and cover, voila. Okay, so this real makeup for real women. A lot mm. of women are now, um, most times we make up for ourselves, right? I mean, yes. we, yes. I like to believe that we we dress up for us to Im not to impress, but more to express ourselves. Definitely. Uh, and uh, we make up for ourselves to maybe boost our self esteem a little, to feel uh, to feel more cheerful, to feel brighter, to brighten up our day. So. But um, what kind of makeup do you usually would recommend as a person like you? I think you, there's no better way to phrase it. You said it so well. It was so spot on. It's really a way to express yourself. Of course, sometimes you want to impress people. For example, you yeah, go for an interview, right? You need to yeah. sell yourself in the market itself. Yeah, because first but impression most time, is really yeah, important. But most of the time, makeup is really self-indulgence. Um, there are many, many uh, reasons why we put on makeup. We want to look good so and then we feel better. Um, we're not trying to become someone else. It doesn't change you. It's not like you go under the knife. It, makeup is here to enhance you and improve your appearance. And the change and the, I mean, the improvement and enhancement will make you feel much better about yourself. So why not, right? And in terms of like, what kind of makeup will suit uh yourself or me, I think it's really very much boils down to yourself. There's really no hard and fast rules, but it's only tips and tricks. And like I say, it's really all about managing your own expectations. What do you want? How do you want to look like? And in reality versus the, the, the um, expectation, it has to match. When I talk about reality, you're talking about time that you have. Some people say that I only have that five minutes in the morning. And in terms of the products that you have, like you told me, Betty, you say you, you don't have many products, right? No, yeah, um, I don't have many products. <laughs> yeah, you have but the I do have here. a bag here, okay, full of products. Yeah. Um, but they are all my daughters. Um, I, I, I have to admit, I have not ever bought uh not to say i almost never buy makeup okay as you know my sister used to work for sd and uh and and then she was my supplier of all makeup okay and i could use a lipstick for maybe 10 years <laughs> i will never run i've never come across a makeup of mine that 
I it, think it's going to run out soon with the rate you're going because I can see that you start wearing makeup for your life. Oh, yes, yes. I'm very happy. Seriously, you make me very proud. And <laughs> I actually in the sense I'm able to convert you because lipstick doesn't do any harm. Lipstick is really a fun way to instantly transform yourself. Like what you say just now, it's a way to express ourselves. And I, I see lipstick as like a weapon or tool, a privilege we all get to enjoy as women to instantly transform yourself, to actually have to wear a different persona. For me, lipsticks is like play pretend. I mean, makeup is like play pretend. Today, I feel more powerful. I feel like I'm in a power suit. So today, I want to feel like Wonder Woman. Then my makeup is, it says that. And then maybe over the weekend, I want to be just a very loving mother. I tend to tone it down and soften it. So this is really a privilege we have as women. So why not maximize it and enjoy it while you can? And like I say, it's, it's a really privilege we have from 16 to 60 and beyond. It should never stop. And it brings the child you know, in us out by experimenting tools and colors and like children playing with colors. So we used to do that. So why do we, sh why should we stop? We should continue. So okay. explore the artistry in you and the artist, you know, bring the artist in you. Yeah. yeah, I'm so glad you're proud of me. Actually, um, <laughs> I started off this live chat and then and, and I couldn't be bothered as I sometimes go to work without makeup too, especially in, during the COVID time because um, we have to wear a mask. And uh, seriously, I think now um, 80 to 90% of the time, I don't wear makeup to work. Um, but my friend said to me, if you're going to do a live chat, and this is a male friend, said, please put on some makeup. Okay, you don't want to be looking like an auntie. Nobody's going to watch you. And the more I, the more I became more comfortable in front of the, the camera, mm. uh, camera. Uh, so the more effort I put in, and I'm yeah, I'm now uh, putting quite a bit of effort. Again, it's the same kind of makeup. So Karina is going to teach us, uh, teach me, and you can come and learn along uh, on how to do a simple makeover. I have here a mirror. Again, my how how do I do this? Okay, my daughters. I here a ring light. Karina has a bigger one. Karina, can you show us your light? <laughs> okay, I am gonna just move it around. Um, I got this because of COVID nineteen as well. It's like okay, I can't. Oh really my god, it. yours is really really huge. Yeah, it's it's bigger. It's almost like a. a, a a hello, a hello. I have kind of thing around my head. I it's this is an investment because of COVID nineteen. Because working from home, we still have to conduct a lot of virtual training, and yeah, we have to do a lot of shoots as well for to generate um, content for posting on social media platforms. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it's almost it's a new norm. So yeah, it's not that a I new use ball game, game, right? A whole Sorry, new ball, it's a new, whole new ball game, right? It is. It is. Um, I have to change the way I think. I have to change my mindset. I have to change the way I, I share my knowledge and skills with my team as well. Uh, virtual is never my thing. I, I'm a very people person. I need to yeah. see, I need to feel, I need to touch. Talking to a screen, I can't even talk long on the phone. So I'm not an audio person. So to do a virtual, it was so weird, like what you say. It takes me a while to get used to seeing myself on the screen. It's such a weird feeling. And... Well, you know what? It's all about getting used to it. We human beings are very resilient and then we are very adaptable. So that's how we survive. Yes. And uh, today is also another breakthrough. This is my first live chat and bare oh, face, no makeup. Oh my God. <laughs> With this big lights shining on our face, it's really <laughs> unforgiving, isn't it? It's so crazy. I mean, not many people have seen me bare naked face. Even my own <laughs> so close with me they hardly see this face and now i'm showing my true face in front like so okay. many people <laughs> i'm sorry i don't have um i'm not sure what i have so i have this uh oh i have this another woman out of frustration i guess uh <laughs> Fen Fenty, fenty fenty beauty by rihanna by rihanna yes mm -hmm. and um of course it's not mine it's my daughter's so i'm not okay. sure if it, so i'm going to try it out 
Yeah, sure. Well, I guess that actually for Rihanna, I'm very sure Bobby Brown would have a lot of food for her. But and again, she's a celebrity. Why not? Yeah, she's a celebrity. She can sell. Ben Brown and try to make more yes. money. You know? Yeah, yeah. I am just going to. I'm very sure what you have is new to what I have. I'm just going to just do okay. my stuff, and then whatever you have, you can. Continue. I just make two. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm going to have this. Born this way. Actually, I'm born this way. But uh, <laughs> this, 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 um, this was given to me by my eldest daughter, uh, and I really like it. And but um, I don't have much left because she gave me just a little. So I'm not <laughs> sure. Okay, show me what you have. Okay. okay, I will basically start by showing you um, skincare first. Very, I want to talk about it. it it's in okay. my blood. I cannot not talk about skincare. Okay, go on. Because I feel that skin is the biggest organ, right, that we have. Yes, that's right. And the thing is that skin is really the fundamental of everything, every makeup. If your skin looks good, your makeup will look much better. And in fact, if your skin is so good, you don't really need to take, mix, uh, put on so much makeup. As simple as that, okay? okay. Yeah, having a good skincare, having a good skin uh, regimen and taking care of skin is as good as you um, taking in all the healthy food, have a very healthy diet. I think that's the first thing first we need to start off. So I basically just use some um, Bobbi Brown remedies. Actually, one of them is Reviver. This is very good, which especially just now you keep telling me that your skin feels very tired. You're very tired. When we are tired, our skin naturally feels tired and looks tired. Yes. So this is like a little magic potion or booster to actually help to revive my skin. And sometimes when our skin is tired, it becomes very dull and very dry. And I also have another moisture solution. It's like a moisture booster to put it together with my moisturizer to really enhance the level of moisture and hydration. And I also like to prep my are skin. These, I'm sorry. Are those um, serum or are they oil? The good questions. They are not serum, neither are they oil. There's this collection that we have at Bobby Brown. It's called The Remedies. They are all mini bottles of boosters. It's like mm -hmm. for your SOS moment in the sense that sometimes you don't have the time to run for facial. You don't have like one whole week to prep the skin for a wedding banquet that is coming that you want to look gorgeous. That so is your wedding. <laughs> so on the day, sometimes you say, oh my God, you're invited last minute for a girl's night out or whatever, anything at all. We have this collection that has many, many different uh, uh, remedies for different kind of concerns. So it basically is like what we call chicken essence, sky ting, you know, when you oh. want to burn midnight oil, you drink a, you drink a bottle, you like, you can run for another four to six hours. This thing works that way in a sense. You give the extra boost, it's like a turbo add it to your engine so it oh, can run faster. Okay, the man will understand this very well. Yeah, yeah I need to call the men. I know you have a lot of men followers. I'm trying to convert them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. then we have this amazing vitamin and rich face base. It is oil free. It's full of vitamins, vitamin pack. It's, it smells wonderful. It smells so good that every time when I open the jar, I feel like eating it. It it's, has a lot of clarity. <laughs> And you know that it's very really good for skin. It has a vitamin C, E kind of thing. Men can use this too. Whatever it is, skincare is really for both men and ladies. Yeah. Do you think uh, Bobby Brown can send me some samples? <laughs> we talk off screen. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. So what okay. else do you have? Now, I'm going to keep the skincare very simple because like I said, you have men audience as well. Men, they don't want to use more than three items. They just want to know something that probably uh, some block, of course, during daytime. Now we are in the evening, so I'll skip some block. But daytime, doesn't matter where you are, you should always wear sunscreen to really protect yourself. And that's one of the uh, essential products to really slow down aging as well because UV rays can be very damaging and it's, very, it's causing uh, premature aging as well. So now I'm done with all the skincare, I'm going to talk about foundation. So because you show me you have foundation, I have my foundation here as well, of course. Okay, I, I have the foundations and um, there are none of it is bought by me, uh, tested because by me. Yeah. Okay, you're very lucky that your daughter's sponsor my, you. My daughter's I will have to sponsor my daughter next time. So <laughs> Okay, yes, you do. They are all into makeup, you know, all these young girls. Yeah. Really into makeup. And, you know, the mom can hardly afford any of this makeup. But, okay, so I'm going to uh, cheat and then uh, try this. And yours is? 
Mine's Bobby Brown, okay? Uh, it's a skin long wear weightless foundation. I show this because where you are, oh my God. <laughs> where, you are, okay. where you are and where I am, the countries we are in, it's hot and humid. So okay. this long wear weightless foundation, it's fantastic. It's a 16 hour wear that is uh, sweat humidity proof. Uh, it gives you that soft matte finishing and it gives you full coverage. This is very good, especially for people who have a lot of concerns they want to conceal for myself. Okay, I really show bare face and um, it's doing me a big favor by giving me this one red spot here. That's a oh. zit coming up. And even I take this away, on normal days, I have redness around my nose area and also my chin area because since young, I have chronic sinus. So considering blowing my nose, I have a lot of broken capillaries. So, so my concern is redness around the face. So I want the makeup that give me good coverage and last the whole day. So this is like the best formula. But I was also I will also have our iconic skin foundation stick in my makeup pouch for instant touch up. If my day runs longer and I have back to back meeting and then probably after work I still want to meet up with some friends and everything, this is like a must go must to have. You know, a must have in your makeup pouch. And like I say, just now, guys were asking, can they wear makeup? They can. And this will be a formula. They will find it very convenient. It's portable, very versatile, very easy to use. So doesn't matter what foundation you have. Here at Bobby Brown, we emphasize, we emphasize a lot about natural beauty, natural makeup. When we say natural makeup, makeup people were like, you know, they show me a picture. They look like Kim Kardashian. They said that this is natural makeup. I say, okay, well, just because the color they use all like nude, earth tone. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. That, that doesn't, this is not how we define natural makeup. To us, natural makeup is that the makeup, let's talk about foundation. The foundation should make your skin look like your skin, but better. Better means that it even out the unevenness, uh, unevenness basically are very much defined by brown spots, um, redness, some blotchiness, or even maybe textured skin. So that's a whole objective of why we wear foundation. So having said that, does it mean you need to use it on the whole entire face? No, okay? Especially we're talking to working women these days. How much time do you have? Do you think you have the whole time to paint the whole face with foundation? Oh, you mean you don't use it on your whole face? No, no, oh. I never. I never. So this is, I'm getting very exciting because it's like, you know, I'm getting very excited. This is my, 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 I preach this to every woman my whole life, like all these years. Okay. We call it spot application. Spot application means that when you examine yourself in the mirror, you can see me very clearly. My, oh, yeah. this side, which is my left side, looks much better than my right side because I have redness here. Okay. Of course, I have some maybe acne scars here as well. So, but if you look at my forehead and the outer face of my face, my skin, my face, I look pretty all right. I don't have the best complexion, but um, I, I want to, my I want my makeup to be real. I want people to look at me and say, that, hey, you look like you have very nice skin, but actually I cheat. I wear foundation. The fact is like, it looks natural and real because I don't apply the whole face. So we call it spot application. I'm going to show you right now. Okay. And this is very to save time because you know but is it, know, it uh, this spot uh spot uh what, spot what you application call? okay this spot application is it a, a concealer no no this i'm using a foundation yeah. oh it's a foundation yeah. it doesn't matter if you're using fenty or i'm using bobby brown skin long uh, skin long wear weightless liquid foundation or stick foundation this spot application okay. is a trick okay. it's, it's a tip of how you can quickly even out your skin tone you know, with I this, don't want to look so near to the camera so that yeah. Can... So what I'm gonna do, I'm even just gonna I really sanitize my hand. I'm gonna just basically take a generous amount, okay? And then sorry, my eyes gonna be looking at the mirror on my ring light. But okay. what I can see here is that I have redness here. So this is where I want to focus. Okay. When you wear foundation, when you wear anything, hit the spots where you want to fix the most. When you take away the problem instantly you look much okay, better. I, I'm looking like I'm, um, what do you call that? Um, a bit obscene, but actually I'm just uh, trying to <laughs> shake. <laughs> Not I'm trying to say it. I think I'm <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay, so, hold on. Yeah. I think it's also finishing. 
Ah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm trying my best. Okay, so since I don't have to use... Okay, now my concern is... Um, okay, I'm old. I want to look young. No, you're not old. Please. No. I am. I'm not, no, no, okay. I'm... First thing I'm, first, I need to change you is that you must not use the word old. You okay. just look wiser, <laughs> more experienced, okay? <laughs> and change another word is that do not want to look young. You just want to look fresher. Oh, okay. The problem, that, the problem with all the modern women these days is mm -hmm. that they are always challenged by so many tasks and responsibilities. Mm -hmm. We are always on the go. We are always on the move. We are always doing 101 things, right? We look no, tired. because we claim we can multitask, okay? And then we, we want to feel proud that we can multitask. Ourselves. Yes. And then we, we get drained and strained and stressed because we multitask. It's okay. because I would like to, everything I do, I tend to like more inclined to the positive side in the sense that because we are capable. Yeah. Capable. Anyway, we, no, no. I think uh, I want to think like a man and but look like a woman. So, okay, <laughs> let's, start with, let's start with this uh, foundation. So, we go on. Yeah. So, so, you really can see. Do you see my oh, redness? Yes. I can't see your redness anymore. It's gone. Yes. And then I instantly look better. In fact, if I just want to go down and collect my mail, I mean, I want to collect a puzzle, or I just want to go down and run into, um, I don't know, the supermarket get, supermarket to get something, and this red dot is bothering me, this is all I do. I will just run out. So, oh, my God. So what I'm trying to tell you is that makeup can be that simple, but it's based on your needs. You need to match it. It's just like math formulation. If you want to get this result, then do something to get the outcome that you want. For me, is that I want to get your this redness, so I just cover it, right? I'm just going to do half face so you can compare. So I okay. can just easily apply this with my fingertips. Okay, not that I'm very, um, I don't know how to do this at all, really, honestly. Okay, I have okay. a brush. I'm, no, I'm going to make I have it easy. A big brush. I'm sorry, I have to say this because yeah. this brush is actually given to me by my cousin's daughter. My cousin's daughter, Jessica, she mm -hmm. sells this brush, so I need to promote it. And I think it's very, very helpful. <laughs> Don't rub on your face. Be gentle. You only have one face. You can't change okay. it. Like, you know? okay. And when the moment you tuck and pull, you're actually pulling down. No, I see. Skin. I see. Okay. So I don't. I just. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to make it more similar to what you're doing. I'm going to mimic what you're doing because you're using liquid, so I'm going to use liquid as well. So I'm actually showing you two different formula. You know, this is all I need. This is all I pump out. Okay. You know, just okay, this. that's the bar I have. Yeah. I think it might not be my skin tone color. Okay. So just like you say that, you were very shocked to say that you mean you don't apply the whole face? Yes. Not yet. I don't. It's because I can why I can is because I'm wearing a shade that is truest is true to my skin tone. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to look fairer. I know it's an Asian mentality that fair is beautiful. As you realize, I am like maybe three, four tones warmer than you. I love hitam manis. I love to be uh, me too. Yeah. Okay, of course, maybe pigmentation issues, you might not want to expose yourself too much. My point here is that doesn't matter whether is it you, like uh, oatmeal color, or is it me, Milo dinosaur color, most important thing is that get a foundation that is true to your skin tone because with that you can do spot application without painting the whole face because if oh, you're going to see, not you okay. have to, it's the same frustration that bobby brown had when she first started she needs to start painting the jawline the neck the shoulder to your fingers oh i get it now okay yes i do love her nail color too sufi Yes. <laughs> so if you're wearing a tone that you're wearing the foundation okay. shade that's true to your skin tone, you can stop anywhere you want. You can start anywhere you want, and it will look seamless. You can people can't tell where you begin and where it ends. That's how you create a very natural looking, flawless skin without the feel of like you're actually wearing foundation. So I'm okay. wearing a, a color that is very true to my skin. I like I say I have. When I get excited, my skin flare up as well because of the ring light. You can't really see. So I basically just 
you can see that I'm just applying on the cheeks area to tone down the redness so that way, later on when I wear blusher, I won't look like Rudolph the reindeer. Oh. You can see my face now, the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Very so easy. Here I have redness around yeah. my nose, cheeks and chin. I'm only doing half face. This is before, this is after. It's so much more even. And I, yeah. I only use that for bean size to apply, okay? And I didn't even go here. I didn't even go here. I want to keep it real. Again, today, the whole objective is sharing with you the quick tips and tricks, how you can quickly do a makeup and look instantly better, fresher. I won't say younger. I still don't want to use the word younger. I'm not getting any younger either. But the fact very often, I have people coming up to me on the my days that I feel a little bit meh is that, oh, you look tired. That's mm -hmm. when I look horrible. But the thing is that I want to look fresher. Naturally, when you're fresher looking, you look more youthful. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't want okay. to keep people because all my friends I, I will will cancel more. off the word younger. <laughs> I will say fresher and more youthful. Okay. Fresher Next. and healthier. I will say fresher and healthier. You're a doctor. Okay. I, I think I can't look like you. But um, I do have some foundation. So my problem is this now. I think my my mindset is such that uh, as long as I have makeup, okay, or as long as I have foundation, it doesn't matter what color. <laughs> uh, yes, true. Because you see, I'm such a cheapskate. I have now just taken like thick, people's um, leftover makeup. Okay, like hand, this. Hand, hand, hand me hand down. down, hand down hand yes. Hand yes. Hand. yes, hand me down. Like, born this way, is hand me down. Okay. And to me, it's like, Kayla, as long as I have foundation on my face, it would boleh lah, boleh jadi lah. So I it doesn't know. work that way. And I, this yeah. is amazing. I never thought that you could put foundation just certain part of your face. I only put around my nose, the nostril, I mean the side here near my laughing line, center of the cheeks, a little bit on the chin. Instantly, this side looks so much more even. And this is actually always my worst side compared to this side. But now it looks so much better. Okay, okay now so finish the other side now. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, finish the other side and then tell me what is next. Okay, so I am also doing the same thing using my fingers very quickly. Just give my nose a good coverage because why I always do nose first? Actually, it's very common. Most of us have biggest issue around the nose area, the pores, the redness. So like I say, when you want to do something, you want to fix something, fix the root of the problem, not the part that is really pretty flawless and beautiful. Don't waste time rocking the boat when it's really perfectly like still and calm and peaceful. So when it comes to makeup, fix the problem. So once the problem is taken out very quickly, I look more even. My redness is gone. Look at my complexion. Wow. It's natural, it's healthy, and it's even. I think my color is just yellow. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I don't know. I, I could be wrong, but from where I'm seeing, mm -hmm. it matches you because you are very fair. For me, maybe, you know, but looking at me, you see, I do not go beyond the jawline. I didn't even touch my jawline, but my forehead to my cheeks, to my jaw and my neck and my shoulder look the same. Yes, that's right. But the key is that, again, I can have to repeat because you know, I was told that if you want to highlight and emphasize something, repeat it five times. I think I really say okay. three times <laughs> one more time. Is that choose a foundation that is true to your skin tone. Don't okay. compromise it. Don't try to go fairer because it's a simple theory okay. if you mix white with black you get gray so when you wear a foundation that is not right for your skin don't just to look fairer you're going to end up looking ashy okay because i've never got a foundation for myself how do i do this okay very simple again like i said managing your expectation and also based on your lifestyle do you see yourself wearing foundation every day? Do you really want to wear foundation every day? Like I say, makeup should be optional. It should be choices. The last thing I want is to make you feel very stressed out. Like, ah, oh, this is not fun. I'm going to stop doing everything. If you think you can live without foundation, you say that, you know, I'm pretty happy with the red lipstick. I'm going to be the red lipstick betty. Go ahead. No one is here to judge you. And especially if you have pretty good complexion, sometimes on good days, you can live without 
for me, I can't. I definitely need to cover up my redness because if I don't, every other color that I put on later on is not going to look good on me. It's going to make me no. Look I think natural. I want to have a foundation in my makeup. Okay. Um, Please go to Bobby Brown counter and get them to find the right shade for you. Okay, so I have to sit there and then uh, go through with them the right shade. They will do a swatching. You don't have to worry. Okay. They basically do a swatching mm -hmm. and they will find the one that basically disappeared in your skin. When I say disappear, it means that you cannot tell it's there. So that is the right oh, shade. Oh, I see. So not cakey, not thick, just like um, body like spray. <laughs> like your own skin, but better. Mm -hmm. Is a better okay. version of the skin. That's the whole point why we wear a foundation. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to move to people the next step. Like I say, most of us look tired. Even the guys. This is for the guys as well. Mm -hmm. We look tired because there's just too many things for us to handle in the day. And we do not have the luxury of eight hours sleep. So uh, the, the next thing is concealer for the under eye. Um, this light is... Very flattering, I must say. The ring light. Actually, if I were to switch it off, I have pretty bad under eye dark circle as well because I only have average about six hours sleep every day, sometimes less. Can I so, ask you something? Yes, please. Is this uh, a concealer? concealer? Yes. It looks like it. I'm not too sure, but mine looks like this. <laughs> yes, yes. It's written here. Fit me concealer. Okay, okay. Okay, mine okay, looks like this. Okay. Yeah, Bobby okay. Brown. Okay. I have two formulas here. This is the Intensive Skin Serum uh, Concealer. This is this has very potent ingredient inside that is very good for people who are concerned about aging. When I talk about aging, means we're talking about fine lines and wrinkles. So okay. if you want something that has like a serum or skin treatment, this is a great formula. But if you say that uh, my concern is not so much about the lines, but it's really the, the very severe dark, uh, dark circle on my under eye, I will really suggest this instant full coverage concealer. This will really give you a very good uh, full coverage on your under eye to conceal the darkness. Once the darkness is taken out, you look instantly fresher. Again, then the fresher equivalent to more youthful looking. Again, uh, concealer comes in many colors. So, um, I'm not sure about other brands, but at Bobby Brown, yes. Oh, okay. so everything too. has to suit your skin color. Yes. And Bobby Brown, we make it very um, simplified. We simplify it in the sense that when the artist, when you go to Bobby Brown counter, where the artist mm -hmm. find out about your color, the shade, and then she also recommend a concealer that matches your shade. And they both more or less, I mean, most of the time, it bear the same name. For example, my foundation color is Warm Natural. And my concealer most of the time will be warm natural as well. So it, you do have to crack your head thinking too much. But and again, that's not your job to remember. You go to the shop, you'll be served very well. You just okay. bring the products and enjoy it. Okay. okay. So today, I, yeah, I, I, for me, it's um, I have that circle, but it's not that severe. But of course, I have aging concern. Uh, concern. I have some lines and everything. So I'm going to basically use the intensive uh, skin serum uh, uh, concealer. So what I do is that okay. I'm going thing, to do this again. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then, I use my hands a lot. I use it as a pen. Okay. This is like a you know a palette or pen, a color pen, right? Okay. So, so I've done this the same. Yeah. I don't directly apply because sometimes you might be applying too much. Okay. Then you'll be wasting time removing it. Using your hand is a way good way to so-called filter or, or thin out the amount that you want. Yeah. So How then, important is makeup remover? I don't even have that. Oh, I'll talk about that later. Don't okay. worry. I have prepared. If only you can see my table. I have <laughs> oh my food and a plus one, two, three at the back. Okay. Yeah. So again, corrector and concealer is also to cover where you see the darkness. Everyone's eye dark circle is different. Some have a little bit more in the inner corner pocket. Some basically uh, around here with like a uh, vein kind of thing all that. So again, if you want to make it very uh, fast and natural looking, again, look at where the dark circle is and then hit where you want the most coverage. Again, I'm just doing one eye to show you. So I have a little bit of like small pocket of darkness in the corner of the eye. And of course, I extend it all the way to the outer corner of the eye because I do have veins, like green color looking veins around it that constantly make me look like I am tired looking. Oh, I think... Uh... 
Can you see the difference on me? Yes. This is, this is before, this is after. I'm instantly brightened up. It's like I just have an eight hours quality sleep. Good quality. Wow. Wow. I'm, wow. Impressed. <laughs> I'm also impressed with my own makeup. I don't know whether it's because it's Bobby Brown or it's you or it's me. But it's okay. everything. It's Bobby Brown and it's me. Okay. <laughs> and okay. the attitude. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not sure because um, I don't know whether I look better or brighter or whatever. Okay, we go on. Okay, I, I can't really see because I think your lighting and the position of the lighting, it's not very ideal. So I, I see a lot of shadows on you. Oh, so I can't okay. really tell the color very well. Um, okay. So I think the best is that do go to the, the, the Bobby Brown okay. couple to get a good consultation and get advice from the, the experienced artist. So I'm going to just do the other eye as well. So everything i just this is my like daily morning routine yeah even now working from home i still do the same because i need to present on zoom call so people can see me uh and partly also i make a point to do makeup every day because i don't want after like five six months i don't know how to apply my own makeup anymore sometimes oh, the skin can get a bit rusty the effort really makes a lot of difference yeah oh yes well, you know, at Bobby Brown, we call concealer the secret of the universe. You want to look good? Actually, first thing first, I reverse a step just now because I have redness. I just want to get it off. First thing first, if you really only have three minutes or five minutes in the morning, do the concealer first. Especially you wake up, realize that, shit, oh my I God, don't know. Concealer really oh, makes a lot of last okay. night. Um, I want to no, no, uh, vulgar words allowed. I'm so sorry. Only, <laughs> only vulgar actions. <laughs> Oh my god, I think that's all more that's more vulgar and obscene, right? Then we call it the new name is out loud S H I T. But anyway, okay. you see me now? Like yeah. I haven't even had any colors on. I basically fix my problems first by taking out the redness around the nose, which really bothers me a lot. That's always my number one concern. When I go to makeup counter or where anyone who does my makeup, they always ask me, what is the number one concern? What is the thing that you want to fix most? I say, take away the redness. So that's why I did the foundation first. Second thing is that I have not been sleeping well. I have not been sleeping enough. My under eye makes me look very tired. So I take away the dark circle and instantly I look like I have naturally even yes. flawless complexion. Eight years younger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know I looked so horrible just now. <laughs> no, no, no. no you look younger means you look 32. <laughs> thank you. Fresher. Yes. I want to look fresher, okay? I'm not going to kid anyone say that I'm like, you know, I hide my age and everything. Now, yes. let me repeat again, you see. But let me repeat myself. No foundation on my forehead. No foundation on the outer face. No foundation on my jawline. So I'm not worried about wearing turtleneck and dirty my collar. Oh. No foundation beyond jawline. I can comfortably talk to you like this the whole day as long as I don't touch my coverage. I just hold like this. I can take a nice selfie, smiling. Like, oh, I think I should talk like this also. So, so I don't <laughs> my, yeah, my drooping cheek. Okay, okay, go on. Okay, next thing. I'm going to do blusher because okay. it's the easiest to do. And now that I have even skin tone, that's not good enough. Like we talk about fashion, yeah, right? I found. Well done. <laughs> well done. But that looks like a bronzer. Yes, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. wait, hold on. Yes, it's bronzing powder. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, now go on. That's fine. Actually, the bronzing powder will look very uh, will work very well for you because the, our bronzer can be used as a blusher especially for people who look very pale and flat. Mm -hmm. They want to create some kind of dimensions to their uh, features. Bronzer is a fantastic tool to add that warmth to a very pale looking skin and also to give that sun kiss um, natural glow and blush. Okay, so I tried the, I tried the bronzer then. Okay, how do I use it? Okay. So before you use the bronzer, I'm going to show you my favorite blush product from Bobby Brown. Okay. It's called the Pot Rouge. It's much smaller than yours. Okay. Uh, it comes with a small mirror inside. Sorry, my content is, I use it every day. So it's like, ah, so ugly looking, so used and abused. 
But okay. you know how much I love it, I cannot live without it. So this pot rouge basically very much inspired by, you know, the founder, Bobby Brown's grandmother. Uh, one, one day she dashed out in a hurry and she just wear her lipstick. She forgot to put blusher. And being a classic woman, you know, the, the makeup should be complete with a nice blusher because when you smile, you want to look very fresh and very healthy. So she pick up her lipstick and just like give it oh. a few Okay, yeah, I've done that before, yeah. And then she applied. That's how it gave the founder the idea of like creating a cream blusher that also can be used as lipstick. So this is a cream base. I love cream base, despite the fact that our weather is hot and humid, despite the fact that I have oily skin. It's because healthy looking skin should have that glow. This is a fantastic product if you have dry skin, which you have, right? Oh, really? So you okay. want that glow. Cream blush is the best. So what you do is that when you apply blush, it doesn't matter whether it's a powder or cream form. Do remember to do this. Smile. Because when you smile, the apples of your cheeks pop up. This gives you a very good guideline where you should apply your blusher. So you should always start your blusher application on the highest point of the cheeks, which is here. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Stay away from the nose because the nose, most of the time, like I say, is red. Right, I would say that two fingers away from the nose, this should be the area where okay. you apply. Uh, the hospital is calling. Hello? Yeah. Okay, lah, okay. Okay, bye-bye. Sorry. Okay, go on. Okay, so I'm still smiling. Yeah. I want to make sure I find my apples. So I'm going to just applying from here and I start dabbing upwards. Oh, okay. I don't have anything that's similar to yours. Powder is the same thing. Sorry? Powder? This so one can I powder use? Powder is the same thing. Can I yeah. use this? You can. I'm going to show you as well if you use powder. But before I show you, you can see instantly. Oh, yes, it's that's right. That warmth, right? And you create a dimension. Straight away, my feature looks sharper. I'm just going to do a little bit more because it gives me a very nice dimension to my face. Now I'm going to, and then people say that, are you crazy? You're using cream product in our weather that is hot and humid, fret not. And of course, double layering products is a best way to actually make your makeup last longer. And of course, before I actually apply a powder blusher on top, I'm going to just use some loose powder to set my cream blusher first. So same thing now, I'm switching to powder. Okay, so powder blusher. I have a peach like coral color and I have a pink form as well. So because of my complexion, I'm quite tan, I will use a coral color. So same thing, I'm smiling again. I'm layering on top of my cream blusher. Oh, so high <laughs> up. Oh, I always never knew that. Okay, go on. Wow. This is a very good way to ensure your blush lasts from day to night. From coffee to cocktail. I've got no such luck. No cocktail. <laughs> Where the blush, the cocktail will follow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what I'm trying to share with you here is a very, very good tip to make your makeup last longer by layering that. When you layer powder on top of cream, you really adhere very well and seal and lock in the color okay so i show you the blush actually i skip a step because after i put the foundation and concealer i should use some powder to set my concealer and my foundation as well because they're all cream based with our weather you want to make sure that it doesn't melt down so same thing when it comes to powder there's also uh, so-called advices or tips on how to use powder often seen ladies wearing too much powder they become too cakey especially if you have dry skin. Like I say, healthy looking skin should have that glow. This is where you should see some glow. This is where you should see some glow. It's very much like you're trying to duplicate the baby's complexion. If you look at baby, they're not all matte. They do have that glow. Especially if they smile, they have the apple rosy cheeks as well. Okay, so I'm just going to set powder around my nose area because this is where my biggest concern is. And I don't want to do too much because I don't want people coming up to me can see powder and they can even do this 
and then blow all the powder away, right? I don't want that. So I'm basically just going to set a little powder on where I want the coverage to last. And the rest, I'm just going to leave it. And of course, a little bit under eye as well. So my concealer doesn't crease up. Crease means that because we have eye movement, unless you're telling me you stay the whole day without blinking, without any expression, that's not possible. You will actually smile with your eyes as well. So when you smile with your eyes, you have all these fine lines. The cream concealer will actually so-called separate oh, okay. the pieces. So to prevent that from happening, set the powder. Okay. And a little bit between the browns, because this is the oily area, if you realize I didn't use that much, is that little bit. And instantly I look more polished because I just have very even skin tone at this point in time. So this Whoa. is with blusher. This is without blusher, but still it looks presentable. My redness is all gone. My dark circle is gone. This is with blusher. Your cocktail. Oh my God. How do, okay, my makeup, uh, my step by step uh, is not working out as well as I thought it would. But now you know. Now better, you know. Better, but I have not <laughs> achieved that. Okay, so now what else do I do? Okay, so I'm going to continue with my blusher. You can apply a blusher as well. You can use a bronzer, but be careful. Bronzer tend to be uh, tend to have more pigmentation. And the color you have, I think it's Bali Brown, if I'm not wrong. Uh, it, it will bronze up your complexion. But it's a very, very... Oh, Aruba, I already, it's I already it's nice. this concealer while you were putting your blush. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just finish off this okay. side. Let me see what blush my daughter yeah. has. Very fast, you know. Oh, just I'm, thing I'm talking through this demo. Of course, it's going to take longer time, but in the morning when I do make up to myself, I don't talk to anyone, it's actually very fast. I wonder how come my daughter doesn't have a, a blusher? You know what? Like young girls, sometimes they feel they don't need it. They are more focused on eye makeup. That's what I realized. Oh, I see. So yeah, yeah she doesn't have a blusher. But so as we mature, as we age, we have different concerns. We prefer to have like nicer looking skin. Whereas the young girls, they all have beautiful, firm complexion. So they just like to play with colors. Whereas for us, we, we want to look more even. Then. So can I do my eyebrow? Okay. Wait. Next thing. Okay. Eyebrow. Okay. We normally leave the eyes last because oh, I see. the longest time. So, like I say, when you make your complexion look better. Actually, there's one thing that really can easily pick you up is lipstick, especially your signature lipstick. Yeah. So for ladies who say that, you know, I really don't have much time, but I'll, I'll talk about brown as well very soon. Okay. Wear generous amount of lip color on the upper lip. Mm -hmm. You just smack your lip together. It instantly transform the color from the upper lip to the lower lip. And I personally would very much like to emphasize using a lip brush because it further, further define the shape of your lips. Okay, I have um, a lipstick here. Though it's not Bobby Brown. <laughs> My son is laughing. <laughs> okay, what do you say? Upper lip and then? Just smack your lips together, it transfer the color. That's a quick way to apply lipstick rather than slowly using the brush to like fill in every gap. Okay. I'm not okay. Do I look better? Yes, instantly more color. Look at you. And of course, like I said, I would like to use a brush. Uh, brush is very good for people who don't have very well defined lip shape or people who have very thin lips like myself, because I tend to miss out certain things and I don't use a brush to like round, uh, to make the lips look a bit rounder because like fuller rounder lips tend to also look, look more youthful and fresher. So at this point, no eye makeup, <clears throat> the skin tone, the, the, the skin, the complexion is taken, uh, is, is well taken care of. Redness is gone, under eye dark circle is gone. I have blush and lipstick. You know what? This is, I'm ready to go. I can actually go out now. Yeah. So, of course, for people who concern say that, you know what? I don't have my brows. I need my brows. I hear you. I totally hear you. So, brow, 
I will start off using a proper tool. This is actually what we call the um, eye definer brush. It's actually cut, trim like this way, like it's blunted. So it's actually a very good tool that is very versatile. You can turn to basically mimicking or following the shape of your brown. So our brown go upward, sideways, and then come down. So basically, when I use it, I keep turning the brow brush and wait, sweeping upward, brushing it. I go horizontal, and then I come down. So I when come on, uh, you go on, you go on. I'm trying to do my makeup. Okay. <laughs> so when come to brow, mm -hmm. of course, never ever use black color. Even though your hair is like stuck black. If you use black color, it's going to make you look very fierce and very unapproachable, very scary. Like you're constantly, you're always angry. Go or for dark brown or dark gray. Depends mm -hmm. on your skin tone and also on the color of your brows and the sparkles of your brow as well. So in terms of brow application, uh -huh. look at yourself, check your own brown, see which part is the most sparse. That okay. will be your problem. That's where you want to fix first. So for me, oh, it's always like the peak. I tend to have like some bota, you know, like some bald spots on the peak of my brown. So I will basically use powder. I love to use powder because it's more forgiving. It's more mistake proof. If you use oh. powder for your brown, you can easily just wipe it off. So your this palette is has for brown? Uh, this, actually, they are all individually color. Like this is actually eyeshadow. I basically oh, use I shadow as a, my brown color. Yeah. So choose an eyeshadow color that you can use it for your brown and also as your eyeliner. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of the powder. I want to make sure all my brush, the bristle, is filled with color as well. Again, I like to use my hand to just dab off the excess. Okay, because I don't want to stray when I apply, it just gets stuck, you know, in a patch kind of thing. So, as I say, my peak mm -hmm. is very small, and my peak hair mm -hmm. is a bit too long, I guess. When it's too long at the tail, it tends to, mm -hmm. like, okay. yeah, lay your eyes down. Yeah. So, the guideline is, of course, like, you want to use the corner of the eye mm -hmm. to measure your mouth. This is where right. you should end. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to apply right okay. here so putting more color and then you see oh nice and then i go back to the front to give my okay. brown head more definition instantly my brown look more defined more oh. even, more fill up compared to this side Wow. Yeah. I'm going to do the same, the other side as well. Powder is great because it's so forgiving and it's so light. You can control the, the amount. Uh, I'm not saying the pen, the brown pen is not good. It's just that that would be the next level. When you can master the powder, and then you can always like upgrade yourself to... Um, brown pencil yeah do you do you okay do you mm. do much to your eyelashes i used to be a woman who wanted long curly eyelashes i think it's only in the last five years or so that i've given up on that um, that hope of ever creating long curly eyelashes um i am not objecting the idea of having falsy or even like lash extensions i tried before it's quite fun it's very nice and very pretty but you know it's high maintenance for me the easiest is the traditional classic way is to wear mascara and uh, of course if you want to make it even more um if you, really, if you really want to open up your eyes and make it even more outstanding i would definitely have to say that eyeliner is a must so now I'm going to talk about eyeliner. I'm going to skip eyeshadow because like okay. seriously, you really don't really have much time for eyeshadow. But if you can master eyeliner, eyeshadow is like really easy. You just follow closely along the line. You layer one layer after another. Then you naturally have that so-called soft, smoky eyes. 
So I had to use pencil. I used to love liquid. But as I age, I find liquids very, very harsh and very stuck. And especially black color. So I've stayed away from liquid. I've stayed away from black. I actually prefer to use pencils, which is softer. And I prefer to use brown. And I've also upgraded myself by layering two different colors for eyeliner. It really softened the look and give it like, again, you don't want it to be too obvious. You want it to be there, but it's like not too well-defined kind of like shape. So I'm going to start off with the dark color. Um, this is actually the perfectly defined gel eyeliner. Basically, eyeliner, just look down because when you look down, the eyelid is smoother. And I will basically just draw closely along the lash line. Do you line the bottom? Uh, I will talk about that later. I want to keep you in suspense. Okay? We don't have, we have spoken for an hour. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Makeup is like that. Okay, I'm going to layer it with the second color. All right, I will show you if I line the bottom. This is your classic like eye, the eyeliner. Now back to your question, do you line the bottom? It's optional. You don't line the bottom, you keep it very innocent, very fresh looking. When you line the bottom, always remember, it's more feisty, fierce, more... Um, how should I say, less approachable. But if you want to create the night out effect that is very smoldering, very sultry looking, by all means, line the bottom. I'm going to show you. I'm going to line the bottom. Once you line the bottom, you're actually creating the very, very simple way of doing smoky eyes because you basically rim your eyes. Okay, I'm not going to line my eye because, um, like I say, I don't have a makeup remover. Yeah. <laughs> But you see, what I'm showing you is that from the beginning until now is that this is the levels you can basically yes, that's right. upgrade. Okay. Yes. And something graduate. And yeah. yeah, it's um, and something that I have to practice, experiment, and learn. Yeah. And practice, what, practice what is su most suitable for me. Practice makes perfect. So I'm giving you a comparison that one side without the bottom liner one side with the with with the bottom liner okay let me have a look oh i like the bottom liner you can see that this side is more like day-to-day -day yes. oh. look oh i like the this bottom liner like, oh, sorry sorry hey, i'm coming <laughs> <laughs> okay this is like day-to-day -day work look classic right and then now i have to cover this side yeah what am i doing <laughs> let me do more Sultry looking. This is more. Oh, I, I, yes, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a lot of difference. It does. It does. Yeah. So, but it the thing is, like, just like that, everything can be simplified. It, it's really that simple. This is like a full makeup. Of course, then you apply your mascara. Okay, I like the bottom. I'm not a brown mascara. So. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Line the other side. Align the other side. I'm not, I know where to go. I'm going to bed soon. <laughs> <laughs> but because I don't like asymmetry. Okay. So you have OCD like me. No, no, no. I don't have OCD. <laughs> I just like everything to be symmetrical. Okay. Oh my God, you look great. Okay, so you Thank don't. You. Okay. Oh, wow. Well done. Okay. Yeah, this is a better version of myself. I, I think, I hope, I still, I am myself. I still look like myself, but like I said, a more improved version. And of course, it instantly makes me feel great. And if I really have a date or whatever, I just put on my diamonds, shine like a diamond, then you're ready to take on the world. <laughs> wow. Yes. Um, I think um, all of us want to be looking good, uh, looking great when we take on the world. Um superhero or not but uh, yes i really think that we had such a great session i really enjoyed myself um i think i in the end i do look better despite that it's not bobby brown but no, it's the no, no, effort no. that i put in exactly and, uh, i think the, so effort, the technique that you've taught me and i think, think uh, you very comfortable in what you're wearing yes yeah. mm. Okay, I'm going to get my skin colored, uh, my skin, the foundation that suits my skin best instead of just, um, you know, collecting whatever my daughter or whoever doesn't want. And 
<laughs> okay. And what else do you want to say? How do so you remove about all that? Exactly. So I have this amazing product, Soothing Cleansing Oil for Bobby Brown. It's a two-in-one product. It's a makeup remover and it's also a cleanser. So I just want to do a quick demo to show you how effective and how easy it is. Imagine this in my face. I have lots of foundation on and I have bright red lipstick as well. So this is me after a long day like working and partying. You really want to just dive into bed, but you can't. But you want something fast, effective, right? So this is when this magic products come in. Chop, chop. You mean this the way? makeup remover and cleanser? Yes. So yeah, first step is the oil. Normally, oh. people double cleanse. They will use two products. First, they use a makeup remover. Then they use another cleanser. But these products serve two purposes. So it melts and breaks down the colors. Okay? Wow. And then you use it on dry face, dry skin. After that, you mix a little bit of water. So I'm going to use a water spray to just spray it. It emulsifies and turns to this milky texture. This is the cleansing step. Yeah. So after that, I just... I wipe it now because I don't have a basin, but in reality, you basically wash it off with water, everything come off clean. You don't have a double cleanse. <laughs> then you can go to sleep right away. But before that, please wear your moisturizer, your serum, everything first, because when you're sleeping, your skin is actually repairing and healing. So that's the best time to really rejuvenate and regenerate your skin. And then the next day, when you wake up, you look much better. And then same thing that you repeat, the cycle and the ritual, and your skin looks and you improve as you repeat, you improve. Yes, it gets better, easier, and your makeup, the time gets shorter because you're just that fast. And nobody knows your skin and your face like yourself. So you know what to do with them. And then eventually you become a pro one day. Okay, I hope I will get there. Definitely. I will do my best to put in a little bit more effort in taking care of my skin and looking more youthful. I'll take uh, more effort in uh, looking better. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so from now on, I will um, try to put makeup to work again. You I'm really so have a great start. I, I was so proud. Like I said, when I, st uh, when I started to see you <laughs> wearing lipstick for your live chat, I was like, oh my gosh, look at my eyes. Because... You're my friend told me that that's, that's right. Yeah. He told me that if I don't put makeup, I'll just look like any auntie on live chat. <laughs> the fact is that not only you wear lipstick, you're wearing a very bright, bold red lipstick. That takes a lot of confidence and attitude to wear. So that's great. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. It was nice chatting with you. And then I hope everybody uh, benefited from your tips. Um, <laughs> and... Um, yeah, we'll try it again one of these days. See yeah, you. Sure. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks, Karina. Thank you.